living in the spirit, I think can best be described this way. It, it really um, speaks to us having the Holy Spirit. Last time we were together, we talked about who the Holy Spirit is. What is he up to? How does he dwell in us? What does it mean to be filled with the Spirit of God? We talked about that last time we were together. So life in the Spirit is really talking about the Holy Spirit who lives in us. When you accept Jesus as your Savior, you're a Christian. God's Holy Spirit lives in you. And, and by the way, I'll say this again. When we're going through the book of Romans in chapter 8, we're really talking to Christians. And, and so this is written to those who are believers. So my primary focus is on those of you who are believers today. Now, if you're not a Christian, you're here today. You're Maybe somebody invited you. You've been thinking about this Christian thing. Well, it's a good day for you to be here. You kind of look over the fence at what we're all about and you begin to see our struggles, but you also begin to see the victory that is available to us and to you through faith in Christ. So pri primary focus though is on Christians. And so Paul tells us that when we accept Jesus as our savior, God's Holy Spirit comes to live in us. That's what the Bible teaches. So living in the spirit speaks to us having the Holy Spirit. When I talk to you about walking in the Spirit, I want you to recognize this next phrase. Walking in the Spirit really speaks to the Spirit having us. Living in the Spirit is, is, is me having the Holy Spirit. Walking in the Spirit is that the Spirit has me. Now I'm learning to yield my life, my decisions the, the situations that I encounter in the course of, uh, of life every day, learning to yield that to the power of the Holy Spirit. So today, what we're going to do is look at three practical steps that are a part of the process of walking in the Spirit. 